Hi guys, welcome. Uh, this is a second tutorial on actually how to allocate more RAM to feed the beast. The uh, reason I'm doing this is because if you look at the video, some people, uh, like uh, this one here, uh, Evan, uh, he's saying he's having issues. However, sometimes uh, people say it works. Now, it must be uh, people are, don't know how to install Java 64. Uh, it does take a little bit while to find the right thing, so I'm just going to exit this. Uh, in fact, no, I'm not because I'm going to need one of the codes. Um, so, to install Java 64 bit, what you do, you go to the Java website here, I'll put it in the description, and then you click on this arrow here, not this one because it takes you somewhere else. And then it will say, and then it will start downloading. My internet's really crap, so you're going to have to bear with me. So while we're doing that, we can do something else anyway. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to make a new text document. Uh, where is it? There we go. Bugger. Uh, name it anything. I can't bother to name it because I'm so fucking lazy. Um, and then we want to find our Feed the Beast directory. Uh, so to do that, go to where your Feed the Beast normally is. In this case, I've actually got mine in a pack called Ultimate, and then we're going to create a new send to desktop. Here we go, like that. Exit out of that, and then we've got it here. Okay, so right click, go to Properties. Now for target file, just this one here. We're going to select all of that. So in this case, Control A, then Control C to copy. Go to your uh, document you made, Control V, and you have that in. Uh, I haven't actually installed Java 64 bit, so I'm hoping it's all simple after this. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a, a pretty crap video. Um, I got lag, which is a weird. Um, oh well. Um, so uh, then we're going to need the code file in here. So the code file is simply uh, so it knows how to run the launcher. But we're going to get Java first, so open up this. OK. Except that. Uh, install. And then you just install like that. So actually it's pretty simple. And then you'll see the stats bar it slowly goes up. I might pause this a bit uh, until it's done. Oh shit, what am I doing? Okay, so now Java 64 is installed. Oh, I don't care. Um, okay, so now after that, we're going to go. Uh, I put this in my previous video and I don't know what I've done there. Uh, just go to here and then this one here. So about the noise guys. Okay, now uh we're gonna I'm gonna go to show more. Uh for me I need to sort of go to the edit mode, otherwise it gets a bit weird, it gets a bit gay. Oh, need to tr copy it from the beginning to the end, including the little space here. You might not be able to see it, but there is a little space. Um and then you just copy it into there like that, and that should be the code guys okay um, file save as then uh, go to all the files there uh, oh don't know uh, and save it whatever you want now so I'm going to put ftb l dot bat now dot bat is very important because that's the file it's going to recognize it now Next bit's also quite important. Where do you want to save it? So, in this case, I am going to save it in my ultimate file. Uh, so, just go here, ultimate. Here we go. And then I'm just going to save it in here. So, save. Okay, now we can exit out of that. You don't need this. Uh, bit of hesitant there. Uh, right, go here. 
Oh yeah, let me just show you the difference between the two things. So before, your Feed the Beast would have looked like... Okay, that's, that's annoying. Your, fi your Feed the Beast, without that, when you open it up, you can open it this way, um, it would have looked like you only had a maximum of one gigabyte of 